This is Michael Saltzman, the Director of Digital Products at Blue Sky Bio. I'm very happy to present the latest orthodontics module in our newest Blue Sky Plan software release, version 4.7. Dr. Baron Grutter has also made tutorial videos in the orthodontics module. I highly recommend that you watch them as well. There's a link to those videos in the description below. His videos are more clinically focused and they're a great resource. These training tutorial videos are more technically how to use the software and the different features and functionalities that exist in the Blue Sky Plan Orthodontics module. Let's get started. The screen that we have open in front of us is the default screen that now loads when you open the Blue Sky Plan software. The users should go ahead and select the relevant functionality for their particular case. And if they're going to be opening an existing case that has already started, that can be done via the bottom section of the screen, either by selecting the recent project from the list or by clicking open project and navigating to the project on the user's computer. We're gonna go ahead and click on orthodontics. We now have two different options in front of us to import models. That's more of the standard way of designing an orthodontics case of creating aligners or an IBT. We also have the ability to import a patient CT scan and then to align the models to the patient CT scan. The advantage of this is that you could see the root positioning. You could align virtual teeth in the software to the actual root positioning. And then when you move the crowns, the virtual teeth and their roots will, will move accordingly, showing you how the tooth movement affects the root position. For the purpose of this training tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and click import models. We are now looking at the computer's directory of files and folders. We could use any of the shortcut buttons for desktop documents or downloads to quickly access those locations on the relevant computer or click network in order to access a local area network if you do have one set up. We're going to browse to the location of our relevant files simply by clicking on the folders or the arrows next to the folder and we're going to select the relevant file. Before we do so, I just want to bring your attention to the ad that came up on the right side of the screen labpronto.com. If you're not yet familiar, it's a great resource if you do want help either with the digital design or with the physical fabrication of aligners. You could see the ad for the physical fabrication of aligners. Labpronto offers these services for surgical guides, for crown and bridge, for orthodontics, for dentures, for all the different services. You have the button that you could see in the background here on the top left for Labpronto where you could actually place the order directly from the software or via labpronto.com. It's a great resource to get you the help you need by accessing a network of top tier labs that will be able to take your case, expedite the turnaround, and get it back to you at very reasonable prices. So to continue with our case, we're gonna go ahead and click on the lower jaw scan. It doesn't really matter which scan you click on first. We'll see that in a few minutes. You click, click on one of them and then go ahead and click on OK. The software now asks which model scan it is. We're going to go ahead and click on mandible. And here's our mandibular scan. And then we're going to move over to the right side and click on import the posing arch. Left click on the upper jaw scan and then click OK. We see that we now have both of the models imported in occlusion. If they weren't in occlusion and we do have a buckle bite, then you could click on buckle bite registration and go ahead and use that functionality to put the models into occlusion. We have the checkboxes here for show opposing arch. The opposing arch is the second arch that was imported. So just take that into consideration. It doesn't really matter, but just so that you understand. And we also have the checkbox to activate collisions. That does exactly that. And with different bite registrations, you could actually see the collisions that come up during the lower jaw movement, just so you're aware that the functionality exists as well. Usually we need to be concerned or check that the models orient the head in the bottom left, and we've introduced some great new functionality for the model alignment in our other modules. In orthodontics, we don't need to be concerned as once we mark the different teeth, the software will orient the models automatically. Before continuing to draw alignment, we should enter the patient's name or a unique identifier, and then we could click continue to draw alignment. 
What we're going to do now is we're going to mark two dots on each tooth. We're going to follow the image on the right hand side. We're going to hold down the shift key and left click, placing two dots on the buccal cusps of each tooth. If a tooth is missing, and instead of left clicking, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and place a blue dot instead. Just to review some mouse functionality that we have here, the left mouse button by itself could grab and rotate a model. As we said, the left mouse button clicking while holding down the shift key will mark the dots. Holding down the wheel of the mouse, we could grab and drag the model and move it around. And holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse backwards and forwards allows us to zoom in and to zoom out. After we've completed marking the dots on one side, the diagram will take us to the other side and we continue the same process, holding down the shift key and left clicking to mark the dots. If we've mismarked, we could simply click one tooth back to undo the last tooth or even several teeth, or we could click clear all teeth to restart the marking process. Marking the teeth help with the automatic segmentation. They help to automatically orient the models to match the head on the bottom left. And they also help with the snap to curve functionality that will create an initial tooth alignment proposal with the click of a button. We'll get to those in just in a few minutes. Once we've finished marking the dots, we should click finish teeth marking and close the model. Close the model solidifies the model, adds a base, removes any errors, and it helps with the automatic trimming functionality that we'll get to in just a moment. We don't need to be concerned about adding any additional height to the base when we close the models at this point because the automatic trimming will take care of that as well. So now we have our closed model. We're going to click and continue with mandible and repeat the same process. I'm using my, uh, holding down the wheel of my mouse to move the model, holding down the shift key, and while left clicking, I'm marking two dots on each buckle cusp. To indicate a missing tooth, we right click instead of left clicking, and it marks the tooth as blue in the diagram on the right, and we can continue marking. The software automatically takes us to the other side of the arch, and we continue here as well. Mark our missing tooth, and then continue. Click finish teeth marking, close the model. And now we can continue with continue to teeth segmentation.